Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and let's chat about the Tatami Time Machine, please. So oopsies, I read this book out of order. This is a sequel to the Tatami Galaxy. This book has also been made into a play, movie, and anime. When I saw the cover of this book, I really thought that this could be like a Wes Anderson type of movie too, if he were to pick it up, because I think that the characters are comical and whimsical and they are just what you expect of students. So a little bit about the story here. So in the boiling heat of summer, a broken remote control for an air conditioner threatens life as we know it. In this reality bending time sibling sequel to the Tatami Galaxy. So um, as you can see there, this book is centered around the story of an air conditioner. So um, mind you, let's not go with the logical choice of maybe trying to fix the air con remote air conditioner controller or maybe trying to buy a new one. Let's go ahead and choose the um, hardest and inefficient option. So um, as long as people are on board and aware that they are choosing a not an inefficient way of doing things, then hey, I'm all for it. Um, so the main character has also um, very like self-aware of his like weaknesses and strengths. And I love that he also tells like the reader like, hey, maybe we shouldn't be doing this or if we are, let's make sure that we are very careful not to uh, disrupt anything. So the adventure that they go on in this air conditioner adventure um, is funny. You know, I, I love that their dialogue between each other. Um, one of my favorite scenes in this book is centered around the bath house scene. Um, again, very whimsical, very like self-aware. So I really like the scene in this book here. Uh, there's a quote I also like in this book, and it says, Friends who stand together against adversity are bound by ties that transcend differences in statuses and personality. I love this so much because when people go on adventures together, um, you're making new memories together and you're experiencing things that um, maybe other people aren't because, again, you, they're not there with you. Um, and I think Kendall Jenner says this best about experiences. I think you should experience it. You always say I want to experience things, but I don't think you actually want to experience things because you would experience it if you wanted to experience things. So the book is also titled Tatami. So something, um, a fun fact about it is in Japanese culture, how they measure a room is by the size of how many tatami mats are in it. So I thought that was a very uh, cool fact to learn about tatami mats, as well as um, they're very comfortable to sleep on too. Uh, there is a dislike in this book. Um, in general, you know, in you when you're in a group and you are either going somewhere or there's a project or something that you need to get done, there's always going to be that someone or or many people in the group that are either going to stray away from the original plan, they're just going to go off and do their own thing, or um, they just make it kind of more complicated for um, the goal to be met. So there's always going to be people that um, are going to be like that in the group. So it was a little bit frustrating at times, um, but I think it was purposely done that way. I do like how the author just ties in everything and um, I do like the ending as well and everything just like works out so um, my overall thoughts for this book I'm going to give it a three or three three to three point five um, again I think it's a very whimsical comical book a lot of Japanese culture are present in this book um, so it may or may not be relatable um, but again the story centered around an air conditioner so just thought it was very funny how um, the author thought of this story like always please let me know your thoughts did you like the book did you like the book who is your favorite character 
please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. I will also try to get my hands on the Katami Galaxy just to kind of again round out the series of this book. Um, so, happy reading.